it's Amanda, and I wanted to come to you briefly on a topic, and that topic, my dear friend, if you're just joining me today, is trust God. Now, I don't know what you may be encountering, what you may be experiencing, my dear friend, but let me encourage you that they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Now, there's nothing that qualifies me to get on here and say this here, but this is how we encourage each other as a believer. Now, I'm not here to counsel you. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but I stand in full faith knowing that God is faithful that promise. My dear friend, we all have a testimony to share. See, in that thieving devil, we don't want to give him any power. He doesn't want you to acknowledge the fact that there's redemption in the love of Jesus Christ. He shut tabra. See, we don't come in our own authority. We come in his authority. So let me calm you today with the scripture. Be not weary in well-doing, for you shall reap in due season if you faint not. That comes out of Galatians. Trust God. Hallelujah. We're not looking at our deficiencies. We're not looking at our abilities. We're looking at the power of God that can work through us. And we know all things work together for good to them who love the Lord, who are the called according to his purpose. So let me admonish you, my dear friend. Now, I can't give anybody else's testimony, but I can certainly give my testimony. Ooh, yada babasia. As someone that's co-parenting, hallelujah, that's been through highs, that's been through lows. He yada babantia. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor their seed begging bread. See, the whole premise of the gospel is the good news. Forgetting those things that be behind, we press towards the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Oh, yada babantia. Does someone have a cheap rat tap of what you see? said or what you did last summer hallelujah it's not that we don't acknowledge these things but we don't give it power be quick hallelujah to forgive and learn what it says in james 4 humble yourself in the sight of the lord and he'll lift you up for god have given his angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways they shall bear us up in their hands lest we dash our foot against a stone for as long as the earth remains there'll be seed time and harvest see the reality is we can't always hallelujah determine what other people are going to do. We can influence them, not manipulate them. Hallelujah. For we have a free will here. But what we can do is trust God. Hallelujah. In Romans 8, it states, what shall we say to these things if God be for us? Who can be against us? We stand on scriptures like Isaiah 54. No weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. And every tongue that rises against us in judgment, we shall condemn it. We know the love of God. We're not condemning or hating on people, but we understand that the Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Stand in faith, my dear friend, to trust God. For it also says in Jeremiah 17, 7, Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord, whose hope the Lord is. Who are you putting your trust in, my dear friend? Hallelujah. Are you putting your trust in your job? Hallelujah. In the people in your circle of influence, are you drawn from the demand of the love of God? Hallelujah. He petitions us to pray. Hallelujah. When you stand praying, forgive. Hallelujah. Now, there's safety in a multitude of counselors. But let me, hallelujah, encourage you, my dear friend. Trust God. Hallelujah. We got to stop making man our all in all and understand that there's a God, hallelujah, ready and willing to hear our petitions. Who shall out of Abbasia? For without faith, it's impossible to please God. For he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them who diligently seek him. I'm here to encourage you, my friend. Don't let the devil lie to you. Hallelujah. For the just shall live by faith. You've got to learn to make declarations like I shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. There's power. Hallelujah. And the fruit of what you speak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you said something greasy, forgive. He shut up, Rab, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Don't think more highly of yourself than you ought to. Do you understand that God is a way maker, a miracle worker? Hallelujah. We can't do these things in and of ourselves, but through us, God can work a miracle. Oh, shut you out of a boss. You don't feel condemned. Hallelujah. Come before God boldly to his throne of grace to obtain mercy in the time of need. Oh, shut you out of Abbasia. Trust God. Hallelujah. We're talking about unexplainable, bona fide miracles that only God can take the credit for. Hallelujah. How do you think people are being encouraged? Hallelujah. For these signs shall follow them that believe. Oh, shut you out of Abbasia. And God said in his word that he will restore the years that the canker worm and the locusts have consumed and that his people will never be ashamed. You've got to put a demand on that, draw from that trust bell in the spirit. Hallelujah. And don't get weary in your flesh. He shut up. For as we fight the good fight of faith, we can press towards the mark. Hallelujah. And know that we don't have to look behind us. Hallelujah. There's an angelic host encamped around about you on every side. The God that knows every prayer, every petition, every supplication up until the present moment. Hallelujah. The God that's faithful to the thousand generation. Hell does not have access to this type of intelligence. Hallelujah. Lucifer was in the garden and he mixed a little bit of this 
just with a little bit of that. Hallelujah. When Eve was not in the presence of her husband, hallelujah, I'm here to let you know, what are you entertaining? Are you entertaining the ear of the serpent? Hallelujah. They have not God, tower of babbles of hell. Hallelujah. They want to philosophize. Hallelujah. You've got to remember what God said. Hallelujah. Are you struggling with something in your body? Learn to declare your healing. Put a demand on it. Hallelujah. Don't entertain these seducing spirits. Hallelujah. And I come before you as someone willing to be perfected. Hallelujah. But I come on here to tell my friend to trust God. Hallelujah. Despite what's going on in the economy, the world, your family, you're a thought leader. Hallelujah. A trailblazer. You have the power to speak a miracle out of your mouth. Hallelujah. Pray without ceasing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Testify to somebody in the line today at the store. Hallelujah. Learn how to speak peace and safety over schools. And all of our children shall be taught of the Lord. And great shall be the peace of the children. And God will present a way of escape with every temptation. Hallelujah. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, which is liberty, will lift up a standard against him your mind, your soul. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, he will direct your path. Trust God. Is it easier said than done? It's not just about talk. We're adding works to our faith. Hallelujah. We're humbling ourselves in the presence of God and angelic hosts. And we're saying, God, hallelujah, we're going to trust you, for I will cry out to God, the most high God, and he'll perform all things for me. I'm here to let you know you don't have to be embarrassed. For God's people will never be ashamed. He shatabrabakutorosia. If you begin to just trust God, my dear friend, remember what he done for you at a previous time. Oh, shayatabansia. It will carry you through this present season. Hallelujah. Whatever you going through. Hallelujah. Oh, shatabrabakutorosia. That's good news for somebody on today. Because God is not a man that he should lie. So despite the challenges and adversities you may encounter, hallelujah, be encouraged to know that this too shall pass. Oh, shatabrabakutorosia. So we lift up, hallelujah, our dear friends and networks and families on the network today. Hallelujah, the spiritual cover and leadership. Anybody who serves in any capacity of leadership, civil workers, hallelujah, bishop ministers of music and understand this whatsoever good any man doeth the same shall they receive of the Lord now I didn't want to preach to you today but the main thing that I want you to catch today is to trust God Oh, for God is not a man that he should lie deliver my soul O Lord from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue God is on your side he shatabra he won't do wickedly and he won't pervert judgment now understand there are consequences but we serve uh, a merciful God, hallelujah, whose mercy endure forever. Receive him today. Well, until next time, my dear friends, shalom. I look forward to hearing your testimony. Alright, I'm trying to conclude my broadcast. Alright, there we go. Shalom.